SMT Nation, we back. Nation, I want to discuss a topic today, which is customer care. Uh, this is obviously good news for Verizon, so we'll cover the news piece. But I think it's important that we start to tie in some consumer customer care, you know, in terms of that side of the equation. A lot of people have been pretty loud and pretty vocal about the degradation of Verizon customer care. So let's talk about this and let's see why the two sides of the house are very different. Okay, so I'll be sure to link this for you in the description. It's the New Center story from Verizon. All right, that'll be there also in the description. The real SMT Buy Me A Coffee link. If you want to support your creators, direct supports are available. Show your appreciation for the content on the channel. All right, link will be in the description. And there's still time to take advantage of our partner's wireless deal. All right, Mint Mobile and their deflation promo is a, an absolute smashing success with the SMT Nation. Get this incredible value and deal. Normally a $30 per month unlimited plan, giving you a 50% discount, cutting it to $15 per month. All you got to do is use our partner link. It's in the description, mintmobile.com forward slash need. Get their legendary customer care, that great value, and you will be supporting our channel. Okay, so the news out of Verizon is for the fifth consecutive year, the Verizon business segment is awarded number one in customer satisfaction for small business wireline service. All right, so the JD Power 2023 award for wireline satisfaction study showing that Verizon is top ranked, all right, when it comes to this segment. Clearly, Verizon business knows what they're doing. They offer a solid product, solid services, and customer care is something that they show extreme strength at. All right, this is something that you know, when you look at Verizon business ranking first in five out of six segments of the study shows excellence, shows that they know how to, you know, put services and, and all those things together for customers. So this raises the question, right? If Verizon is so good at supporting the business customer, why the hell are they regressing in the customer side, right? When we look at consumer operations because because you th look at it like this your business customers pay more for service your business customers obviously have uh you know they're always going to be paying their bill it's dedicated it's it's more profitable there's better margins but this basically tells us that verizon is punting in customer care we've already seen them you know cut a lot of jobs and uh, do a lot of restructuring at the company on the consumer side you know so while the arpu is still very good on the consumer segment. Verizon has kind of chosen not to give that side as much attention or whatever the structure is within the company for the consumer side, right? This is very different than the business side, clearly. So kudos to Verizon for taking care of the business customer. I think this explains why they still grow there, why the customer doesn't churn out of there and why customers are so satisfied on the business side. But the consumer side cannot be neglected. We must highlight this. It's our duty here on the SMT YouTube channel. If you're a, a business in Verizon that knows how to do this and is so elite, according to the JD customer satisfaction ratings, why the hell can't you do anything better on the consumer side? It needs to be stated. And, you know, I'm open to commentary from folks in the comment section. Obviously, I respect everyone's opinion. As long as it's shrouded in facts, I respect everyone's opinion. But the truth is, is that Verizon's consumer customer care has regressed. One could argue it might be the worst in the industry. I know that I have had troubles with Verizon customer care as a consumer for the last several years when previously I did not. And it's not because Verizon doesn't know how to do customer care. There's a different standard on the business side and I wish some of that would carry over to the consumer side because those customers pay their bills and they have troubles that need to be fixed. And Verizon hasn't made themselves available to fix those issues in a timely fashion. Four or five calls to fix the same issue, creating new problems, trying to fix one, having two and three after you're done with the call, right? Uh, operational hours are getting reduced to fix those problems. Returns are a problem. That stuff is not tolerable. That's the stuff that makes people leave and needs to be addressed. 
And clearly Verizon knows how to do the customer care thing right, at least on the business side. I have no idea what the hell is going on on the consumer side. Let me know if you're a Verizon business customer, how you feel about the customer satisfaction. Do you agree with the results in the study? If you're on the consumer side, have you been experiencing problems? Do you wish that they would kind of do some of this, whatever is going on on the business side, put that formula together, use some of those principles to fix issues going on on the consumer side? Let me know what you guys have to say on this. Comment down below. Hashtag Verizon for all the real ones. Love to hear what you guys have to say on this. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.